Feeling upbeat? We've got the cure for that. Welcome to another edition of Bad Discoveries, in which we bring yet another delicious serving of the buffet of bad news from recent archaeological finds. Let's take a big bite of missed fortune. An impressively well-preserved Bronze Age village was uncovered in the Must Farm Quarry in Britain during 2016. Destroyed by fire, prompting sudden evacuation, the dwellings remained preserved in mud for centuries. This affords us a time capsule of daily life in the period of 1200 to 800 BC, featuring various items including textiles, tools, dishes, and food. What came of the fleeing inhabitants? Given that they lacked time to take essentials such as food in the crisis, prospects for their long-term survival seem doubtful. Also in 2016, divers off the coast of Israel near the ancient port of Caesarea discovered an ancient shipwreck containing an astounding number of ancient artifacts, including extremely well-preserved bronze statues and thousands of coins near fragments of large jars. Analysis of the remains indicates that the ship was caught in strong winds, and attempts to use anchors were too late to prevent the ship's demise. As bronze items were often melted down and recycled in the ancient world, shipwreck discoveries constitute most of what can be found. Required to turn the discovery over to the Israel Antiquities Authority, the divers were rewarded with gratitude and little else. Financial compensation is not on the table under most conditions. Archaeologists have found the remains of a boat burial in Abydos, Egypt. Although only a few planks remain today, Drawings of various other boats, along with numerous pottery vessels, have been found at the site. We don't know with certainty the reason for so many drawings of boats in the middle of a desert region, but we do know that this burial dates to 1850 BC, around the time of Sinwazret III. He was the most powerful ruler of his era, having killed many Nubians during Egypt's conquest of their territory. His reign lasted a respectable 39 years, and he may have lived on for another 20 years during his son's reign. He was worshipped as a deity. Has the cost of athletic shoes got you down? The Vindolanda Trust feels your pain. Once the fighting ended, the inhabitants that sheltered there threw everything they couldn't carry into ditches. Over time, this was covered by other buildings and was preserved by the cold mud. Archaeologists excavated the ditch and found dog and cat skeletons and some pottery. Most notably, however, they found 421 Roman shoes. There were shoes for children, athletes, men, and women. It's a remarkable example of Roman footwear. Unfortunately, the discovery of so many shoes greatly increased the costs required to preserve them all. The Vendelanda Trust, which manages those items, had to ask the public for help to in quotes, conserve a shoe. Without any outside funds, preservation of this ancient footwear is entirely dependent upon donations. A team of archaeologists studied a pair of mummified legs on display in an Italian museum. They think these may have actually belonged to Queen Nefertari, Ramses II's favorite wife. Her tomb was plundered in ancient times, but was excavated in 1904 with some of the remaining items sent to Turin, Italy at the time, the mummified legs being among them. The results of various tests the archaeologists performed on the legs showed that they belonged to a 40-year-old woman. Chemical analysis also showed the methods used to embalm the legs are consistent with methods from the 13th century BC. Additional corroborating evidence helped confirm their conclusions. Villagers fleeing Bronze Age fires, shipwrecks, expensive shoes, and forgotten mummy legs. What other dreadful, curious, and frankly weird items have the world's researchers found? We're happy to tell you all about it, and we hope you'll help us by subscribing. Thank you for watching Bad Discoveries.